Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in London, I'm outside Highgate Cemetery. Today I'm hoping to show you as many notable graves that are laying in rest at both cemeteries here at Highgate. Highgate West and Highgate East. If you do like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep you up to date with any new videos. Due to the size of Highgate Cemetery and the amount of famous and notable people we found, this video has been split into three parts. Right, we've just entered Highgate Cemetery West. I'm just walking up the hill. Highgate Cemetery is a place of burial in North London, England. There are approximately 170,000 people buried in around 53,000 graves across the West and East cemeteries. Highgate Cemetery is notable both for some of the people buried there as well as its de facto status as a nature reserve. Right, here we have the grave of Alexandra Litvinenko. a Russian defector and former officer of the Russian Federal Secret Service. This story was all over the news. You probably remember he met two friends and went for lunch and he was poisoned. Alexander spoke out against Putin many times and therefore he was poisoned in a hotel in London and died on the 23rd of November 2006. Another gravestone that is very popular here at Highgate Cemetery is the one of Thomas Sayers. Thomas Sayers, born the 15th of May 1826, he became a sporting hero by excelling at bare knuckle prize fighting that was illegal at the time. His funeral was the largest the cemetery has ever seen. His dog Lion was his constant companion but he is not buried here. Sayers died on the 8th of November, 1865. Probably the most famous headstone here in Highgate Cemetery is the one of Karl Marx. Workers of all lands unite. The philosophers have only interpreted the world in various ways. The point, however, is to change it. Karl Marx, born May the 5th, 1818, and died March the 14th, 1883. Malcolm McLaren, born Malcolm Robert Andrew McLaren on the 22nd of January 1946 and died on the 8th of April 2010. McLaren was a visual artist, singer, songwriter, musician and clothes designer. The songs you would know him for was Double Dutch, Buffalo Gals and Madam Butterfly.
Better a spectacular failure than a benign success. I'm just as a private owner's section where the public are not allowed through. But if I zoom through these two main graves here, that black stone, the arch stone there, that is the final resting place of actor Bob Hoskins. Looks like someone has purposely planted a plant in front to hide the name on the grave. But that is in a private section in Highgate West. Actor Bob Hoskins. And the final resting place of Roger Lloyd Pack, actor, 1944 to 2014. Born on the 8th of December 1944 in Islington, London. English actor, best known for playing Trigger in Only Fools and Horses from 1981 to 2003. And Owen Newitt in Vicar of Dibley from 1984 to 2007. Andy played Barty Crouch in the movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Roger Lloyd Pack died on the 15th of January 2014 in Kentish Town, London at the age of 69, cause of death, pancreatic cancer. And the inscription on the bottom of the grave states, Find me at the crossroads where old ghosts meet. Love of my life on Hockey Street. That brings me to a close of part one of my visit to Highgate Cemetery. Look out for part two and part three coming shortly. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. It's absolutely free. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. Hope you've enjoyed this video. From me, Paul, at Interesting Places. Till next time, thanks for watching, bye for now.